Hello, everyone. Um, yes, I, I definitely love your closing statement about the uh, starving artist. Um, I'll just give you a little story of a New York kid. My parents were two working parents and uh, back in the 60s when I was a kid. And so when I came home from school, they weren't home. And, you know, so the school was left open when I was a kid. And you could go back into the school and grab any instrument you wanted for free. I don't even know if that exists anymore now. <laughs> and take it home, sign for it, take it home, try it out. If you didn't like it, you know, put it back, try another one. I played violin, I played the French horn, I played piano. My mom tells me I was always a drummer. She said I used to take the curtain rods off the windows and take her Jet and Ebony magazines <laughs> and start playing on them. Now, at the same time that they saw that I had a, a, an acumen for music, they would always remind me that you will be a starving artist. Now, what is an artist? And what does success mean? Well, to me, in my now 40 years of being a drummer, Herbie Hancock, Tina Turner, Aretha Franklin, Lena Horne, Vanessa Williams, Whitney, I, I can go on and on. The talk would be over. But my point is, inside of you, you must know that you can do this. I was told many, many times by the elders in my family that this is not a viable job for you. <laughs> And that's a hard thing to overcome when the elders that you respect, and they're trying to give you good advice. In fact, they are giving you good advice. But then there's something that burns inside and says, well, you know what, I can, you know, this is going to work. It's going to work. So you work on your craft. You, you study with your teachers who like to take the extra time to tutor you. I had private teachers. I was always in the school orchestra. I stayed after school. I auditioned for bands. And I have, quote unquote, never been out of work in my entire career. But it takes work. Now, here, here's my story. What is success? Now, I'm going to ask, I can ask a question. What, what, what do you consider success? Now, I, I might not have like 40 acres house up on a hill somewhere and, you know, you know, horses running and vineyard and whatever. But I wake up every morning ready to go to work. I mean, I love my job. I still love my job. I mean, I, I, can, I can technically, legally be a retired person, but I'm still learning. The learning doesn't stop when you're an artist. In fact, I have more work now than I did when I was starting. I'm, I've been playing my instrument now for 45 years, 50 years. I'm 62 years old. I'm not ashamed to say it. I've been a professional since I was 20, and my instrument is still a piece of hard, hard work. I still put in four hours a day of practice. After I teach, I have private students, but I, you know, and not, here's the other thing. I learned from my students. In fact, one of my students the other day showed me something and I was like, wow, I, I didn't think of that. I haven't thought of that. I, that's very interesting. Show me that again. So my point is success comes from passion for your work, a constant hunger. Now, here, now here's, a, here's a phrase from being a starving artist. I'm a starving artist because I'm always hungry for work. <laughs> <laughs> you can flip that phrase. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm starving right now. I can't wait to get In fact, I'm on tour right now. I don't, I, that's why I don't have a presentation. I'm in the middle of a tour. I'm home for three days. I got to get back on the plane and get out of here. But, 
my point is that yeah, yeah, I'm a starving artist. I'm starving. Give me more, you know. So as, as you guys go ahead in, in your endeavors, whatever that is, stay hungry. Challenge your teachers. Ask the hard questions. Don't be a follower, you know. Don't be afraid to be unique. Because it seems like in this day and time we're in right now that we're considered the troublemakers, the, uh, mm -hmm. the unique ones, the different ones, the dark ones, you know. No, don't fall for that, you know. That means you are a unique thinking person. And, and teachers and professors like your principal and these people here, they understand that, you know, and, and you have to gravitate towards people like that, that can help you flourish in whatever you want to do, you know. I was a science major and a music minor. I mean, I would have been in astronomy class in New York Minute. And, uh, and I still study astronomy. And there's a correlation, for me anyway, math, science, music. And here's a little scenario. Now, going back to my childhood, I could go back to my school, take any instrument, Take it back. Now, my brother is 10 years younger than I am. He went to the same school. When it was his turn for that, the instruments were gone. The school was closed after 4 o'clock. There was not even any gym after school was closed. So the programs started getting taken away. So the kids of his generation didn't have the same opportunities as my generation had. And we have to stay aware of that. You have, to, you have to keep the kids exposed to all types of art. Because you don't know who, where Einstein is coming from, or where John Coltrane is coming from, you know? Or, or, or where Bill Gates is coming. You don't know. It could come from anywhere. It could come from the co-op down the street, or the projects on Dean Ave, you know? That's where they come from. Neil deGrasse Tyson is from the Bronx, correct? That's right. Right. You know? If he didn't get exposed, to those, we, we wouldn't have him directing the planetarium right now. You know? So the schools and being exposed to arts, all of the arts and sciences and disciplines are very important. And this is coming from a drummer. I'm not even talking about music. I'm talking about what is success in your life. For me, being successful is, I would tell my kids, my last one is in college now, uh, that I never had a job, you know? She goes, Daddy, what the hell are you talking about? Well, I'm telling you, I never rolled out of bed in the morning in a bad mood about having to go to work. Because my passion is right there. I'm like, I'm waking up, I have my coffee, let's go, you know? So, this is what I'm talking about. And one more thing I want to say is that Art is for everybody. Science is for everybody. Math is for everybody. They're not just for the, you know, the eggheads, you know? <laughs> because you have to have a well-rounded environment so you can make decisions. I mean, if you, if, if you haven't tried it, how do you know you, you don't like it? You know, it's like saying, well, I don't eat pizza. Well, have you ever been to Italy? You know, or whatever, you know. But my point is, stay as well-rounded as you can. Talk to all of these guys who know a lot of stuff. Share your information with others. And then go for it. That's all I have to say, guys.